you want to be the next Tony Robbins? Do you want to be the next Gary Vaynerchuk? Or even on a smaller scale, do you want to be the next Neil Patel? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and today I'm going to share with you how to build a personal brand like me, Neil Patel. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this page so when I have more marketing videos like this and more tips for you, you'll get notified. Now I have a question for you. How many of you want to build a personal brand? If you do, leave a comment with yes. If you don't, leave a comment with no. Before I get started and tell you and teach you how to build a personal brand like me, I want to tell you a quick story. Yes, my personal brand has helped me make millions of dollars, but if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't build a personal brand. And sure, I'm going to still share tips with you on how to build a personal brand, but that's a mistake I made and most people don't realize. Because even if you take the most popular brands like Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins, when he passes away, and I hope he lives for a very long time, amazing guy, I don't know him, but I've listened to his stuff. Tony Robbins, his business isn't worth anything without him. I'd rather have built a brand like McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. They're much more valuable. Google, those brands will keep going on because they're not relying on one person. Even Apple, Steve Jobs was an amazing person, but Apple as a company isn't just relying on him. Apple has grown even as Steve Jobs has passed. Sure, he paved the way for a vision, but there's a ton of smart people at Apple as well. Now that I got that off my chest, I'm gonna still teach you how to build a personal brand, although I recommend you building a corporate one instead. And the tactics I'm gonna share with you will work if you wanna build a personal brand or a corporate brand. So let's get started with the first tip. You need a blog at least once a week. People love reading content, especially on the go. Yes, there's videos and all these different formats, but blogging is still one of the most effective channels. I know video has more engagement, but with blog posts, text-based content, it ranks better on Google than video does, or even audio. So by creating that text-based content, you'll continually get evergreen traffic through SEO. When you blog, you don't just want to create any kind of content, you want to create new, fresh, evergreen content that people haven't seen before. News content only lasts for a few days. Evergreen content keeps getting traffic. But because there's over a billion blogs, you can't just regurgitate the same information. You want to create something that's new and fresh. And that's why I'm not telling you to blog every single day, I'm just saying once a week with brand new information that people haven't seen before and you'll do well. And in that blog post, make sure you link out to other sites to back up your sources, cite them, because not only does this make you seem as an expert, which is important with personal branding, you can also email out these other websites and experts that you linked out to and be like, hey Curtis, I have to say, I'm a huge fan of your work. So much so, I linked out to you my latest blog post. You can check it out here. Cheers, Neil. P.S. If you shared it, it would make my day. It's a great way to get more traffic and build up your brand with other people within your space. The second tip I have for you is speak at least at four conferences per year and just start off with four. If you've never spoken at an event, that's okay. There's a lot of YouTube videos that teach you how to speak at conferences or on stage. Apply to all the conferences within your space. Eventually, someone's gonna accept you. And speak at one a quarter, so that's four a year. People wanna see you. They want to build that offline connection. You look at brands like Tony Robbins, he does personal events. Not having that personal connection does not allow you to build as much of an emotional connection. That's why you need to build that connection. And the only way you can do that is by doing in-person events. Next, you want to start a weekly podcast. When people are driving, they're always on the go, whether they're on the train, subway, running around, they like listening to podcasts. You can't watch a video on the go, you're running around, how are you gonna watch a video and run? You're gonna like end up trampling and getting crushed. But if you do audio-based, people could be walking to work or driving to work and be listening to you. Start a weekly podcast. It just could be one episode. It doesn't have to be long. I recommend doing five, six minute episodes. People like short to the point where they have a long commute, short commute, they'll get to know you. Start with a podcast. And with the podcast, I'll give you a quick tip to get downloads. In your podcast, you should be using a service like Libsyn to host your podcast, but in Libsyn, they have a description. That description, think of it as SEO for podcasting. Make sure you describe what your podcast is about and include popular keywords. You can use tools like Ubersuggest to type in phrases related to your podcast, show you all the most popular ones, make sure you put those relevant keywords within your description. That way when people are searching the podcast store, whatever, maybe on iTunes, so they can find new podcasts to follow, Yours will come up because you have the keywords in there. 
The next tip I have for you is to create educational based video content. LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube love videos. Well, of course YouTube does because YouTube is only video based platform. Nonetheless, create educational based videos because people can keep searching back on YouTube and searching for content and yours will show up. When you're creating these educational based videos, they don't have to be long. Four, five, six, seven minutes is long enough. Make sure you're putting in keywords. You can use tools again like Uber suggests to find the right keywords to include in your video so that way you get the most amount of search traffic. And by optimizing for search, by including the keywords, what the video is about, uploading transcription files like those SRT files, you can go to Rev com to get uh, that transcription it's only a dollar per minute I believe it'll get you more views and this will get your brand more out there and have people connect with you on a personal level not as good as conferences but better than just text-based content the next tip genuinely care for people when I started out in the marketing world people helped me out with my business they didn't ask me for a single dollar said they just graciously helped me and they genuinely cared for me. And I enjoy doing the same too. I believe in paying it forward. People help me and now it's my turn to help you. And genuinely care for people in your space. If you don't, they're gonna see right through it. You're not gonna build a big brand. And going with the theme of genuinely caring, respond to every comment. By helping people out and responding and letting them know you're there, even if you don't know the answer, that's okay. Say, sorry, don't know, I did some Google searches, I couldn't find it. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with not knowing everything. But by genuinely trying to help people out and responding, it shows that you care. And last but not least, you need to give it time. You're not gonna build a brand overnight. I didn't happen or I didn't come overnight in one or two years. It's taken me over 10 years in my career. Actually longer than that, I think I'm on my 16th or 17th year. Time flies when you love what you're doing. So really give it time. You're not gonna build a brand in three months, six months, or even a year. It takes two to three years. And if you wanna see how your brand's growing, you can go to Google Trends and type in your name. And when you do that, it'll show you your brand versus other people in your space. So that's it. If you follow those tips, eventually you can build a bigger and bigger brand. Now, if you want help growing your personal brand or corporate brand or getting more business, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. And if you have any questions, I don't care if you can afford to hire my agency or not, leave a comment below. I'll respond, I'll help you out. Just let me know what you're asking for, where I can help you, and I'll try to do my best. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Have a wonderful day.